वी आर गिवन एन एलिवेटर कार विच इज मूविंग अप विद एन एक्सेलरेशन वन पॉइंट टू मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर हाइट ऑफ द कार इज टू पॉइंट सेवन मीटर एंड ए बोल्ट बिगिन्स टू फॉल एट टाइम टू सेकेंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द बोल्ट फ्री फॉल टाइम एंड द डिसमेंट एंड डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द बोल्ट इन द रेफरेंस फ्रेम फिक्स टू एलिवेटर शाफ्ट so by elevator shaft he means ground frame so with respect to ground how much is the displacement and distance covered by the bolt by the time it falls from here to here so let's do the first part first where we need to find the bolt's free fall time so we are going to solve this with respect to elevator so our reference frame is elevator itself so it will just appear to fall from here so we are going to do it with relative motion so we can write the equation of motion in vector form so displacement of 2 with respect to 1 is equal to u21 plus half of a21 t square so when it falls down the velocity of both elevator and the bolt are same at that moment when it just falls so u21 becomes zero so this is the reason why we are doing it in reference frame of the elevator so our equations become simpler s21 so displacement of 2 with respect to 1 so for 1 2 seems to be falling down so let's consider the downward direction is positive then the displacement of 2 is plus 2.7 u21 is zero acceleration of 2 with respect to 1 which is a2 minus a1 so a2 is g downwards so plus 9.8 and a1 is 1.2 upwards so in our sign convention it will be minus 1.2 so a21 is a2 minus a1 so a2 minus a1 itself is minus 1.2 times t square so solving this we get t as 0.7 second which is our answer for the first part now in second part with respect to ground we need to find the displacement and distance covered by the bolt so when the bolt falls to this person it looks like it's falling down but in reality it has some upward velocity so with respect to ground it will go up and fall down and here it will touch the elevator again so let's say this is the height maximum height it reaches from where from where it drops and it goes down and that is our displacement with respect to ground so it falls down here with respect to elevator but in reality it goes up and comes down and hits the elevator again so displacement eventual displacement is this and let's say this is h so again we will write it in vector form so displacement is s is equal to ut plus half at square so u is the initial velocity when it just falls so there we'll make use of 2 seconds so in 2 seconds how much velocity the elevator gained that will be at so a is 1.2 and t is 2 second so u is minus 2.4 so again we are taking the same convention of downwards as positive so upward velocity will come to be negative so we will put that in this equation this numerical value t is 0.7 second because irrespective of the reference frame time is constant plus half at square so now in ground frame acceleration is downwards which is positive in our frame so it's plus 9.8 times t square so if we put these numerical values here we get the displacement as 0.72 which is positive and because we have taken downward as positive that means the bolt has fallen down with respect to ground now distance so for distance we need to add this h also so distance is let's say it is d it is h then again h plus s so 2h plus s so 
टू टाइम्स एच विल बी यू स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस एस सो एस विल पुट फ्रॉम हियर एंड यू स्क्वायर बाय टू जी यू अगेन विल पुट टू पॉइंट फोर एंड जी विल पुट नाइन पॉइंट एट एंड विल गेट अवर आंसर वन पॉइंट थ्री मीटर सो हियर वी आर नॉट डूइंग इट इन वैक्टर फॉर्म हियर वी आर डूइंग इट आर स्टैंडर्ड प्रोजेक्टाइल इक्वेशंस so once again because the bolt was falling within an elevator it was easier for us to solve it with respect to the elevator because the initial velocities were zero with respect to each other so from here we got the time of fall and in second equation we know the initial velocity and we know the time of fall so we could easily calculate the displacement and the total distance